lucky little pass by Skira Andre Bureau as he was cutting in behind the net. He set a pass in behind him. Sitting there waiting and firing it home was Jared Conkle who picks up his 14th marker of the year and the Thunder take a 1-0 lead. For Conkle, it's his second goal of the year versus the Salmon Kings. Nothing stocked it out in front of Victoria. Siddle comes down the left wing side. It's tipped off his stick, but comes right to McLeod. Claire on top of him. But McLeod will take it down in. Gets tipped away, but McLeod will recover on it. He picks it up. Marcou has lost his stick, so McLeod brings it in. Gives it a clear shot. Scores! Rick Carino on the end timer on a pass from Kyle McLeod. And Marcou hadn't lost his stick, and it actually snapped at the handle. And that made that pass possible. So the Kings get a power play marker, and it's now a 1-1 game here at the 13-32 mark as McLeod came across the hash marks, fed the pass into the slot area, and the one-timer from Cleaver made no mistake up and over the glove of Columbia. Kings will control. Case the right point. He gives it to Dingle. Goes down into Butcher. He takes a bump but stays strong on his feet. Lawrence comes in, he's digging away at it as the fans start doing the wave here. As the Thunder will break out and bring the puck down into the zone. Chewy on it, he gets a bump. Fulton will pick it up in the end and then he plays it over to the right side to Lawrence. He feeds it into the slot area. Shot, they jam away at it. Chance it by himself. He keeps the puck out. They continue to jam it away. They put it in. It's waved off immediately. David Shaw caught. As he had the puck covered, and referee Murphy just let them continue to whack away at it and never blew the whistle and finally the puck went in and then he waved it off. A very strange, strange set of circumstances. We'll wait for the official call on this one. He called it off immediately, but Short clearly had the puck. as they just bowled him over. Referee Murphy right on top of the plate. Not sure why the whistle wasn't blown. The Henniger in to take the draw. He wins it clean. Gets it to Stetsinger. Right side now to Wilson. He plays it up to Henniger. Tips it to McMurchie and he plays it in. McMurchie looks to chase it down, but Brody will get to the puck first. McMurchie on top of him, so he just bails it back. Gives it to Hunt. Hunt plays it down in behind the Brody. Puck will come up to Hunt. And he's going to skate down the left wing side. He's going to chip it in. Wilson after it. Kicked away by McKenzie. Comes to McMurchie. He takes a bump there from Hunt. McMurchie again finds it. Tries to go back to the out of the zone, but it's kept in at the point. Shot by Ringwald doesn't make it through. Ringwald will pinch down. He takes a bump there from McMurchie. As the Kings for the first 30 minutes of the game with the more physical team now, it's definitely the Thunder. Here's a stretch pass. Hedegar in on the breakaway. He comes in all low, crosses the blue line. Into the slot, back on. Scores! How do you like me now, right here? Slides in between the wickets of Kalimba. And it's a two-in Salmon Kings lead on a sweet pass out of the zone to Henniger, who snuck in behind the defenders. He crowded the Thunder side of center and had all day to come in. And Zane Columba goes down, but he leaves the wickets wide 